Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we're taking a look at the DX Makoto Crystal from Kamen Rider Rube. Uh, very similar to the Kiwami Crystal in both look, transformation, functionality. Uh, works with both the Rube Gyro and the Rube Korin. A.K.A. the Tambourine. I still think the thing looks like Tambourine. <laughs> I have not seen the episode where they use this. Uh, but the circumstances for it being used were spoiled for me by somebody, uh, Twitter or YouTube comments, I don't remember. It's not a big deal. I had already suspected it. I won't repeat it here just in case anyone isn't caught up. Um, the website I used to watch, Rube, is, I think, just did 19, so I'm caught up through 19, so I haven't seen this yet. But here is the form that he gets when he uses this, so that's very cool. Nothing there on the bottom. Not really much going on there on the top, just shows the form using the coding with the closed and open version of this crystal. Pretty cool pictures on the side, not too much going on there. And then again on the back, just shows you how to replace the batteries if you need to. It does come with the batteries included, it's got three watch batteries already included. And then just kind of shows you how to connect it to everything, which of course we will take a look at. So let's go ahead, get it out of the box, and we'll take a closer look. All right, so here it is out of the packaging. Uh, pretty much just a giant crystal. Uh, for comparison, here is the uh, Kiwami crystal. As you can see, very similar. I like this one a little bit better because I like the paint instead of just being translucent blue. But the back pretty much looks identical. You can see the three batteries in place on this one. They are up here on this one. So put that off to the side. So, really nice silver paint. You have red, possibly for rosso, blue, possibly for blue, and then a third thing. That's all I'll say. <laughs> Go ahead and flip this open. Now, at this point, it'll continue to repeat this sound until you connect it. We're not going to do that. So I just hit the button on the side, it cancels it out and plays the first sound, which says Makoto Crystal. Again, nice metallic paint on the sides here in the top. So I like the look of that quite a bit. Really nice paint applications on this, I will say that. Uh, the box did uh, boast a seven colored LED. So we'll hit the button over here. There are three different phrases it'll say when it's not connected to anything we already heard the first. Select Crystal. So we're really only seeing a couple of the colors right now. Uh, it'll just cycle through those three things if you just keep hitting the button on the side over and over again. Um, that's pretty much it. So we close it back up. We are ready to bring in the Rube Gyro. Alright, so we'll go ahead, flip it open. So there you go, you got to see all seven colors of the LED, mostly shades of blue. <laughs> but it goes through green, I think like a light blue, dark blue, purple, uh, white, uh, greens in there, red, and all those colors. So uh, it just says Ultraman Rube, uh, doesn't announce a form, which is interesting. Uh, again, I don't really know what to expect because I haven't seen it on the show yet, so let's see what else happens. So you can probably guess who the third person is based on these sounds and voices you may hear. 
Uh, but so there, Kosen, so that's a beam attack. Uh, let's see what happens if we do it again. So it just... Alright, I was wrong. I was going to say it does, does it again, but you get a nice little bit of a phrase there at the end, so that's kind of cool. Just to make sure, we'll try it again. So I guess sometimes it plays the phrase at the end, sometimes it does not. Uh, but that's pretty much it. You can see the lights in the background are still kind of going crazy on the gyro itself. Just go ahead and take that off. So that's pretty much it for... Oh, I'm hitting buttons now. That's pretty much it for its functionality with the Rube gyro. You get the transformation, just says Ultraman Rube, which in my opinion, kind of a boring transformation jingle, but meh. Uh, the cosine sound and the little phrase afterwards is, is kind of fun. That's nice. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this. Let's go ahead and bring in the coding. Alright, so go ahead. This is like the most satisfying part of this toy. I love flicking that thing out. It's pretty cool. Uh, now the package does show connecting this while it's still closed. So we can go ahead and do that first. So it says Kodin Shot. Um, this thing just kind of says Sheen each time. Oop. I forgot. You're supposed to hold this button down on the side. <laughs> Not just pull it off. I can never remember which items have releases, which don't. Uh, so first we'll put this in the Rosso. Okay, so now it's in the Rosso form. So with Rosso, it says Vortec Buster. Now it's in blue. And in the blue version, it says Corin Shato. So that's pretty much it for its functionality with the Rube Corin. Uh, you get one sound for each Rosso and blue, and you get one sound uh, when it's just closed up like this. I did just want to show off real quick uh, if we put this. All right, so now we're in Rosso, and now we have the Kiwami. So, it says Voltec Buster. This thing doesn't have a reader. All right, that's enough video. It doesn't have a reader in here, so it just knows when something's connected. So, the sounds you would get out of this with this are the same that you would get with this. So this functionality with the Rube Corin doesn't really bring anything new. Uh, the only thing you would get new is the sounds that this would make, which I completely understand. This came out first. Now, it's not uncommon for them to build, pre-build future sounds into things, but this thing never had a reader. It's kind of a basic toy. I understand that. 
What I don't understand is when you know how it works and you know that all the new functionality needs to come out of this, why doesn't this make new exciting sounds? I completely understand you already know what sounds are going to come out of this. It's going to say uh, coding shot or uh, vortex slugger or whatever it says, but you could have made something more impressive come out of here. You didn't. This says shin every single time, no matter how it's connected, no matter what it does. So it just makes a really quick little boring sound and then does a light show, which is pretty much what this does. So it's not really bringing anything new to the table, and that's kind of really disappointing to me. So sadly, what has pretty much become par for the course for this line, I'm underwhelmed by this toy. It's not terrible, but it's not really that exciting. If you already have the Kiwami Crystal, there's not a ton of reason to pick this one up. I will say it's not very expensive. I think it was like $15 before shipping, so it's not like it's a ridiculously expensive toy that does nothing. It looks very nice. All of the metallic paint used on it looks great. I really like the kind of navy blue color scheme with the silver paint I think looks great. You know, the flip open action is fun to a point. It does have seven color LED, that is true and that is nice. But the phrases that come with it are just so lackluster and boring. On its own, it makes three sounds. You know, it says the name of the crystal, it says select crystal, and then something else I can't understand. When you attach it to the Rube Gyro, it has a transformation jingle and just says Ultraman Rube. And I don't know, maybe, but I mean, doesn't, again, I haven't seen the episode, so I do apologize for that. But I'm assuming this form has a new name. It doesn't even say that name. You know, it's just kind of weird to me. Like, it seems so lazy and phoned in. And I've just really been disappointed with this whole year of Rube. And it doesn't surprise me that this being one of the last releases would just follow suit. Um, I loved X. And I loved Orb. And I even had fun with Jeed. But I gotta tell you, this year, the show and the toys have just been kind of phoned in, in my opinion. Just bleh. And it's really a shame because I was really getting into Ultraman and it was a nice climb and then it just kind of woof, like really just bottomed out. And it's a shame. It's not really, I like the actors on the show. I'm not going to get into a whole rant. Maybe on Geek Each Week I'll get to that. But it's just a shame. I mean, if you want another decent, you know, sound effects crystal for 15 bucks, go ahead and pick this up. It's not going to break the bank. What it does is, you know, it's fine. What you do get is good, but there should have been so much more, is my point. There's so many more sounds they could have put in this. It should have a better transformation jingle. I will say I like the beam attack sounds. I do like that. The sound phrase you get at the end after the sound effect is neat. I did enjoy that. I just think the transformation jingle should totally be more impressive. It's functionality. If you're going to boast all this functionality with the Rube Korin, it should do more than just play the same sounds you can already get with something you already have. It should, new sounds should come out of this to complement the sounds that come out of the coding so that they gel together and it works. And it just doesn't do that. It just gives you a boring little sheen or gene. I can't even understand what it says. It's just a quick little sound and then the sounds you're already used to. So what's the incentive? Like basically the functionality with this and the Rube coding to me doesn't exist because I can already get that exact same functionality with another toy I already have. So I'm basing this solely on what it does with the Rube Gyro because that's what's unique to this and it's meh at best. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. But I want to hear from you guys. Are you as disappointed in this line as I am? I feel like it started out good and then just kind of really tail-ended and just gave up by the end. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, like, share, comment, subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thank you so much for watching.